Hey there, welcome to the Build's Microsoft Minute, a quick way to learn tips and tricks about Microsoft Office. Today's quick tip is all about appointments and calendar basics in Outlook Client. In this video, we'll cover viewing calendars, granting permissions, creating and organizing appointments, as well as using the Schedule Assistant. Remember that this is a video, so if you want to play along, you can press pause at any time. I know you're curious, so let's take a closer look. Once you log into Outlook, click Calendar on the navigation pane. From the ribbon, click any of the options on the Arrange menu. If you want to set up your own view or reset a view, navigate to the View tab and click the options available in the Current View menu. In order to view other people's calendars, you must have permission from that person. If you need to grant permission or request permission, click Share Calendar. Click Calendar Permissions to control how much detail you want others to see. To view someone else's calendar, click Open Calendar. If you need to view several calendars, click Calendar Groups to choose the individuals you want and save as a new calendar group. Those calendars will appear in the folder pane to the left. In Outlook, appointments and meetings have different meanings. An appointment is an activity that does not involve inviting other people or reserving resources such as rooms. A meeting is an activity in which you invite people or have to reserve resources. To create an appointment or meeting, choose your desired calendar and click New Meeting or New Appointment. Accidentally create an appointment rather than a meeting? No worries, click Invite Attendees to change an appointment to a meeting. Complete all the required elements on the meeting page. Ever get frustrated trying to find a meeting time that works for everyone? Let's take a look at how to quickly find available time slots for multiple users. Click Scheduling Assistant, then click the Options drop-down at the bottom of the page and hover over Auto Pick and choose your desired option to find a time that works for all invitees. This date will appear on the appointment. So now that you're a pro at creating appointments and meetings, let's talk about how to add some cool options. To set an appointment or meeting as recurrent, click the Recurrence button under the Appointment or Meeting tab. To attach a file to the item, navigate to the Insert tab and click the Attach File button. Alternatively, you can click and drag the file into the item. Much like mail messages, you also have the ability to adjust the responses for meetings. Click Response Options to adjust those meeting responses. Additionally, you can categorize, make items private, and assign importance. Now you're ready to tackle calendars like a pro. As always, thanks for watching. For more detailed information about Outlook, be sure to sign up for any of our classes offered through the Build. If you like what you're watching, make sure to click subscribe. If you're interested in more Microsoft Minutes, click right here. We'll see you next time.